He was the man who negotiated the U.S. withdrawal agreement with the Taliban under the Donald Trump presidency and stayed on in the role with the new Biden administration. His departure is not unexpected. In his resignation letter, Zalmay Halilzad wrote that now is the right time at a juncture when we're entering a new phase in our Afghanistan policy, which is one way of describing the chaos of the U.S. withdrawal from the country after 20 years. In mid-August, when the Afghan government collapsed, the Taliban swept through the country and marched unopposed into Kabul. It sparked a mass evacuation effort from the United States and its allies as thousands of people tried to leave. Halil Zad has been the target of criticism for an agreement signed with the Taliban in Doha last year that many said gave too much and gained too little. That assessment may be unfair. The decision to pull out was taken despite the Taliban failure to comply with terms of the agreement, or as he wrote diplomatically, the political arrangements between the Afghan government and the Taliban did not go forward as envisaged. They did, however, comply with an arrangement not to attack departing U.S. troops. Zalmay Khalizad, who was born in Afghanistan, formerly served as U.S. ambassador to Kabul, Baghdad and the United Nations and served under four administrations. He's known to favor a more modernized and democratic Afghanistan, a vision that is currently a long way from being fulfilled. Francis Collings, TRT World.